Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming a video. Could be a little bit controversial, we'll see how it goes. Very recently, Jaclyn Hill did announce that she is collaborating with Morphe for the fourth time, I think? I can't even remember, because there's original, there's Jaclyn Hill palette, the Volt, and then this palette. I mean, she does like brushes and stuff with them. I'm not gonna count all of that. But anyway, so. Jacqueline is collabing with Morphe and usually when there is a controversial collab like this happening lots of people make videos like this and they're like here's what you can do instead here's what you can buy instead and I was like you know what I can do a video like that I think that will be really really fun so if you guys are interested in seeing what I kind of picked out that I have in my collection because when I saw the palette originally my first thought was like oh I totally have dupes for that palette like Ooh, you know, it was just like, <laughs> so I um, just like went through my shelves. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. Knowing me, I did. I know there's other palettes too that I don't own that you could probably do the Jaclyn Hill palette with. So if you guys can think of anything, because I'm sure I missed something, let me know in the comments. Let us know in the comments. So if somebody really, really loves that collection, but they want to maybe support a different brand. This will be the resource for that person. So we'll see how this goes. I don't know. I just had some palettes that I was like, oh yeah, I, I don't need that. So without further blabbering, let's get into it. But I just wanted to post a picture, a few pictures of the palette so you guys can kind of see what we're working with. It looks like a lot of purples, reds, yellow. There's like a pop of yellow. That was the hardest part for me is like, that pop of yellow even if you break it down by categories like we all have like a pink palette we all have a purple palette so right off the top of my head I'm thinking of like the little Juvia's Place minis that came out at the start of the year so those are kind of like little dupes that you can find okay so let's start off with these little guys I thought would be a really fun dupe if you have these palettes in your collection already these are the monochromatic palettes by Colourpop so I have Aha uh -huh Honey, and then Orange You Glad, and then I have Main Squeeze, so let me open that up. And I think actually I should also grab, hold on one second, it's my pleasure, Jaclyn Hill Palette, which is cool. I don't even know what this palette is called. Oh, it's just called the Jaclyn Hill Palette Volume 2. So if you have these, save yourself the $40, and just consider revisiting those. I also thought of this little guy from Colourpop, especially if you are a darker skin tone. Maybe you can dig into this and, and combine it with these palettes and achieve some looks so you won't need to buy the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2. Um, the next one that I think is like duping the vibe is KKW Beauty and her palette called the So Fire Palette. This kind of has that neutral vibe. Again, you could add some purples in there and you kind of have that going. The main palette I thought of when I saw the Jaclyn Hill palette was honestly my Sunrise palette from Natasha Denona. I feel like this one has similar color story. It's got a little bit of the purple, berry, yellow, neutrals. So this one is more pricey than the um, Jaclyn Hill one but you might already have this in your collection so that means try and you know make this one work because it has very similar tones and a lot of the criticism with the morphe palettes are you're not gonna really see like, of a difference in tones once you start blending on your eyes and if your excuse is that the sunrise palette is too expensive you can always look at this one this is the aurora palette by shop ultra ego and it is a dupe version of the Natasha Denona so that is a good option for you as well and this is way cheaper than the Jaclyn Hill palette and then last but certainly not least is the It's All Good palette. I don't know if all of you know that I bought this but I actually bought this at the end of December before my low buy no buy started. I thought this was gonna be like my one last hurrah for Colourpop because I am trying not to buy Colourpop this year so this palette is beautiful. I've honestly only used it a few times and I still plan on doing a video with this. But I honestly think that this is amazing. The packaging is so cute. I first thought these palettes were so lame 
when I saw that ColourPop was gonna do big palettes because they started with the So Jaded and I thought the So Jaded was like, ugh, you know, why? And then I actually bought it and I really like it. I wanna do a video with the So Jaded palette as well. I got my best friend the Bare Necessities, is that what it's called? I got her the brushes and the palette for Christmas and then I bought this one for myself. So I actually really like their big palettes. I don't love that they're like regurgitating shades, but since I'm not planning on buying ColourPop this year, I feel like it's okay that that was my last purchase. I also want to mention their Yes Please palette. That was their first pressed eyeshadow palette, and I think that definitely has some of those yellows and reds. And again, you can add the It's My Pleasure, or you can just go for this for $30. And, you know, ColourPop always has a sale. Plus, this is a nice size. Like, it's big, but it's not like 35-0 big, so might be a good way for you guys to kind of uh, curb your craving for the Morphe palette. Now, as far as like the politics of the whole thing, I have so many theories and speculations and conspiracies. Like I really, really do. It's so hard for me because I know I support a lot of really not so great people in the beauty community. I've definitely bought from like Jeffree Star and Kat Von D. Like I haven't bought anything from Kat Von D in a hot second, but like Jeffree Star for a while, even Manny, you know, like there's so many like controversial figures in the beauty community. I think Jaclyn Hill, like for me is a sore spot because I used to be a huge fan. And <laughs> it's so funny because my husband like loves like listening to some like random drama sometimes because he'll hear me like listening to YouTube videos and he's like, oh, what's going on now? You know, he gets all curious and it's so funny because he's like, he's such a manly man. <laughs> so it's really funny that he like gets like curious about this stuff and he's like, oh, you know, he's like, I remember when I first met you, you loved Jacqueline and she was like your idol. Like she was like who you wanted to be when you grew up. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> stuff has changed. So I think maybe that's why I take it more, I don't want to say personally, cause it's not going to like affect my life, but I do feel really bad for people that have continued to support her. I feel bad for people that bought into her lipstick scheme and like, got these like crappy lipsticks like I would be so sad that somebody I admired so much like let me down and that's kind of what happened like after the whole Volt thing I was done like I was done supporting her collaborations because you just feel disappointed like I don't know it's a really weird thing I don't know I don't want to like get on here and bash her or get on here and tell you guys what to do with your money but I thought it would be fun because I felt like I had so many little like dupe the vibes of the palette. So you guys can do whatever you want. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I hope you found this video sort of helpful. I guess I could have swatched, but I really don't want to. So <laughs> let me know if you guys want swatches, DM me. I'm sure I can make something work, but I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video soon. Bye guys.